everybody, it's my first video. I hope you enjoy. Hey everybody, it's your fellow fox, your winter summer fox, and this is this is my this is a video series. It's the beginning of a video series where I talk about the furry related topics, and the series is called Furry Talks. Anyway, let's start off this episode with a question: How and why did I join the fandom? Well, it started in 2013 when I was browsing the internet and came across some furry art, which amazed me a lot. So I wondered, what is this? And after doing some research. I thought it was it was furry. Also during that time, I didn't know what the actual definition of a furry was. So I also looked that up so I know what a furry was. I found that it was a group of people who share a common interest in fictional anthro anthropomorphic animal characters with human personalities. And so anyway, that's how I found the furry fan and how I got to know what a furry was. So now that, let's talk about why I joined. It's because the fandom is very welcoming to all kinds of people. No matter your age or race and illness you may have, the furry community is very welcoming to all those types of people. And also, and also the furry fandom has a lot of creative and artistic people show what they want to do within, within the community. For example, make videos, make music videos, make fursuits, and so on. Many, there are many things that the people in the community do. So to sum it up, the furry fandom is, work, is a welcoming group of people who are creative about what they do. So that's what I want to say. And that, I hope you enjoyed my perspective of how, of how I joined the, the furry fandom at the age of 14. And so I hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye. I'm in love with the cocoa.